Hello and welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today we're talking about something called the Start Offset feature. Let me present a scenario real quick. We have a boss attack that begins with a one-shot impact and is closely followed by a looping ambience. Since this attack happens frequently and often, if I have it start at the same point, it becomes very, very repetitive. So instead, what I want to do is randomize the start of this loop. Because I know it's a seamless loop and it has a loop region, it doesn't matter where it starts because I know it will still end up looping seamlessly at the end. So what we're going to use is something called start offset. If you click on the audio file itself and go down here to the bottom, you can see start offset with a percentage number underneath it. This essentially means if I put it up to 30%, the audio track will start playing 30% of the way of the audio file. Essentially moving the start line from the original starting point to any point of the track. Now, what I want to do is randomize this so that every time it triggers, it starts at a different position. If instead I right click, go to add modulation and random, we get a new module down here on the right, start offset percentage. And this is basically the amount of randomness we want around the start point that we've chosen. For instance, if I have it down to zero, i.e. the very start of the loop like we had, and I put it up to 100%, you can see down here at the start offset, we have a little blue highlight on top showing me that it could start anywhere between zero and 50% of the track. You can see the yellow cursor down here starting it everywhere, but not going past 50%. So if we go back to start offset, we can go one further. Push this up to 50%. Now it could start at any point in the loop track, as so. Which means that every time we hear this attack, the loop will start at a different point, creating more variation and more of a natural feel. Something that won't distract the player from their immersive experience. This is just one way you can use the feature. I hope it's given you some ideas that you can use in your own situations. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more weekly FMOD tips.